Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are talking about the military life of Henry Knox. Knox was one of the greatest soldiers in our nation's history with an amazing record of success. In January 1776, Knox brought cannons on a 300 mile trek from Fort Ticonderoga to Boston, allowing General George Washington to drive the British from the city. Later that summer, Knox was at Washington's side when the undermanned American army battled the British on Brooklyn Heights, again at Harlem Heights, and finally at White Plains. In November, the Continentals fled south through New Jersey and into Pennsylvania. At this critical moment, Washington executed the master stroke that saved the revolution when he crossed the Delaware Christmas night of 1776. He entrusted the logistics of this vital operation to his most dependable subordinate, Henry Knox. Thanks to Knox's leadership, Washington's army got safely across the ice-choked river, marched to a great victory at Trenton, and turned the tide of the war. In 1777, Knox fought at Brandywine in Germantown, and saw Philadelphia fall to British forces in September. He shivered at Valley Forge through the long winter of 1778, and later that year fought bravely at Monmouth. Finally, in 1781, his artillery destroyed the British at Yorktown, forcing their surrender. At every major battle, Henry Knox was there. At age 32, Knox was promoted to Major General, the youngest soldier to attain that rank and in 1783, following Washington's retirement, General Henry Knox became the senior officer in the United States Army. Next week, we will talk about Henry Knox's tenure as a visionary Secretary of War for the United States. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.